I woke up in the morning and I realized my king set went viral. I don't know how this happened. I was so shocked. I didn't even know the video was going up. Hi, I'm Mia. I'm 19 years old and this is my king set story. So a couple months ago, I woke up, went on TikTok, and a video of my king set went viral. I had no idea that my choreographer had posted a video of me and my dad's father-daughter dance and when I saw it, I was in shock. So many people in the comments were really interested in my quince story and especially the full dance. So today, I'm gonna sit down and watch my quince video for the first time since it happened. So my quince was four years ago and honestly, it feels like it was yesterday. It's something that I always dreamt about ever since I was a little girl. Just growing up, having family friends and even my sister and going to their quinces, I was just so in awe of everything that I couldn't wait to have mine. From what I remember of my quince, it was honestly so stressful leading up to it, but on the actual day of, everything went out the window. I actually had my quince a year after my 15th and this is because my sister had a quince a year before. I just didn't want to put that financial burden on my family and I knew it was going to be a lot so we decided that together we were all going to wait a year and save up. But even though I had to wait a year, I'm just so thankful that my family was so supportive of me having one. Alright, let's press play. I'm so nervous right now. My crown. Actually, there's a funny story about my crown. So basically the whole entire day, my crown kept going missing and we didn't know why. And my mom was so stressed looking everywhere for it. So there's some pictures with me with my crown and without my crown. Oh my gosh, literally look at me in my robe. I'm so extra for that. I really knew that I wanted curls and to just be full volume. So she really brought that out for me. Oh, my dress, my favorite thing about my quince. My dress, I had picked out since the beginning. I was on Instagram just scrolling through, trying to find any little decor design for my quince, and I saw that dress actually way before I even was turning 15. So we would go store to store trying to find the dress. I had a screenshot, I would show them my phone, I was like, this is the dress I want, and no store had them except Moda. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is it. And when I tried it on, I knew it just fit perfectly. I actually wanted this dress so bad because it looked just like Cinderella. I wanted to feel like a princess and when I saw it, something just clicked in my mind. It had the cute little arm sleeves and the straps and I was just like, this is it. My mom didn't know how to tie the corset in the back. She's literally just holding the string. <laughs> It was so special having my mom in there helping me with just anything she could. She likes to do the 110%. She means the world to me. She's so cute. Look at our candids. <laughs> she had trouble putting on the bracelet too because of her nails. Oh, that's me and my sister and my mom. That's my sister putting on my shoes. I always wanted a big court because I just wanted everyone to be included. My friends, my family. I had eight girls, eight guys, and then my main. That's a lot. And honestly, I couldn't choose. I just wanted all my friends to be in there. Oh, my court lay looks so good. I literally, I wanted them to be in the gray suits and of course my mane in white. So everything just looks so elegant, just like it's a princess. Oh, that's my mane. Honestly, I'm so glad that I chose him. He was my boyfriend at the time. So some people tell you not to choose your boyfriend to be your mane, but I'm so thankful that I chose him because he was 100% in it with me and he knew everything. He knew my personality, the ups and downs of the whole process. And I'm so thankful that I chose him. Look at me carrying my entire dress. Everyone's helping me. Oh my gosh, the party bus. I'm so happy we did that. That was so much fun. Look how many people there are getting into that bus. I literally wanted to dance so bad, but my dress was so big that I couldn't even stand up. They look at me, I'm just like moving my head, like trying to dance along. Oh, the church. The church was something that was really important to me and I really wanted it to be just so elegant because it's tradition, it's a part of the quince. And I was so thankful that we could actually experience it. As I was walking down, I was trying to think, please don't trip. Just seeing all my family, a lot of them flew in from Mexico, New Mexico, because there was a lot of doubt whether they could come or not, and I was actually excited to see them there. <laughs> During this part, I remember my mom told me, you have to hug everyone, and I was like, am I gonna have enough time to hug everyone? And it like slipped my mind. And you can see my mom literally telling me, she's like, 
No, go hug everyone. So we're back in the party bus. As you can see, I changed my position. I'm excited to go take pictures with all my friends. As we were driving, we realized it was literally raining. And we were thinking, what are we gonna do? We have to take pictures right now. We heard that it might rain on my quinza, but we were really doubtful that it would actually happen. And once we got to the park, we realized we were wrong. It was raining. And this just got me really stressed out because of my hair, my beautiful curls, and my makeup got off and the rain still hadn't stopped. Everyone's carrying my dress on a bridge as my lashes are literally getting wet and blinking so much. And that's my whole court. <laughs> Look at how many there are of us and we're all getting poured on right now. So everyone here, these are all the people I really want to be a part of my court too, but <laughs> it was to be just too much. We're all here taking pictures. It's just as many as my actual court. This is my favorite part. This is when we realized, you know what, even if it's raining, let's just have fun. We got on the playground, we started making funny poses. All my curls are gone. They were already gone. I was just like, let's just, let's just have fun. Like today's the day. So my theme for my quinza was princess. Before I found my dress, I wanted something with purple because purple is my favorite color. But once I found the dress and the blue was so pretty, I was like, I'm basing my quinza around my dress. The colors, the centerpieces, as you can see, we did a carriage and I just wanted everything to look like princessy. So I had silver and blue and everything for the centerpieces. We went to LA, we bought as many as we could and they came out beautiful. Just the candy table. My family friends did the whole candy table for me and it just came out so beautiful. All the blues, all the glasses. At the end of the night, all the candy was gone. My table. Oh my goodness. You can see, just like my court is big, the table is big too. My cake. Oh my goodness. My cake. It's so gorgeous. That was the one thing I was like, I was shocked when it came out. I was like, how is this all cake? Is this even edible? My grandma had actually purchased the cake for me. So I just told her that one simple idea and she just ran with it and it looked so gorgeous. So the guests are arriving. I had my godparents walk down and my parents walk out and obviously my court and then my big grand entrance, which I was really nervous for. But once I walked out, <laughs> there I am. I was just like, all the nerves gone away. So now this is a time where I took a thousand photos with like everyone. I didn't even get to eat my dinner. I was taking pictures the entire time. It was really nice having the mariachi there because it's part of the tradition and it really brought the life to the party. Okay, so this is probably the most iconic part of my game set and I honestly can't believe we pulled it off. When I was with my choreographer, he actually introduced a silhouette to me and I was like, oh my goodness, that is so cute. Literally when people saw it, everyone was crying. I was didn't get to see it until now, but I honestly was like, that is so cute. It tells the story of me growing up with my father and how close we are. I really wanted my guests to feel like they were watching the movie unfold, me growing up and they were a part of it with me. I was literally so nervous to do the reveal. I thought I was gonna trip over the curtain or something. My nerves were going crazy. And the lights didn't come on. And the changing of the shoe. My dad couldn't put the shoe on my foot. <laughs> he was like struggling and I was like, it's not on yet, it's not on yet. <laughs> so me and my dad are super close and he actually works nights. So he'll be gone from 3 p.m., gets back at 3 a.m. So we don't get to see him a lot, but when we do, we make the most of our time, even if it's just little coffee trips or just like this when we were planning my quinza. The practices, very rare, but when he had time and he made sure to go all out for me. I was so nervous right here. One, because my crown was like falling off. And two, this is the start of the dance. We want to do a little twist on our dance. My dad likes to be the fun dad. He likes to be funny as he can be, you know, with his dad jokes. So when we were doing this dance, he said we're going all out 100%. And obviously neither of us are dancers, but I think it came out pretty funny. So we both had like bottles. I had the baby bottle. <laughs> and actually I like kicked it and it got lost under my dress. And I was like, it's gone. It's gone forever. 
He's so into it. I can see him going all extra with his hands. So this is the moment that went viral. So my choreographer wanted us to have a big lift. We were like, maybe we can do it, maybe we can't. And just right before, I had actually tripped practicing it. So I was really nervous for this part. Here it is. My dad's literally praying for this part. That lift right there. And we added our own voices too. Okay, mamas, I'm done. That's it, that's it. Dad, come on, one more. We thought it'd be funny to put our own voices in. And my dad was like, okay, it's gonna be right after the big lift. So we thought we'd oh, throw our little personalities in. I was actually so impressed that my dad could do these moves because honestly, like this is the stuff that me and my friends do. So when we taught it to my dad, he was like, yeah, I could do this. <laughs> When we were practicing for all these dances, my choreographer was literally A1. I literally was so nervous that people wouldn't show up or people wouldn't understand the moves. And he just helped out a lot. I told my main, please don't step on my dress, I might fall. <laughs> oh, we had another lift. I think lifts are so beautiful in dances. I had a surprise dance with all the girls in my court, plus my sister. And my favorite movie is Burlesque, and I just wanted to have all those songs on there. I, when I like think about this, I'm like, who let me? Like, I'm so surprised that like my parents let me and like my whole court's family was like okay with it. I don't know if I'm gonna let my kids watch this. I'm literally like feeling myself right now. Like I'm so in it. Oh, that's my favorite part, just walking up the center. We use chairs too, oh my goodness. Oh my god, my crown, it kept falling the entire time. I was trying not to move my head. And the end, another lift. <laughs> I'm actually really happy of how my surprise dance turned out. It was really fun and everyone was cheering on the whole time. <laughs> this is where the fun really starts. All the stress is gone, no more rain, no more dances, just the party. We had robot, we had confetti, we had strobe lights. It really felt nice to finally get to this point and just have fun. I'm so happy that I got to watch this video again. It brought back so many memories. And I'm just so thankful that everyone could help out and everyone was so supportive, even through all the ups and downs of the entire day. And having that viral father-daughter dance, I have so much gratitude for everyone that helped and everyone that was supporting me on that day. Thank you so much for watching my quinta story. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV's My Dream Quinceanera channel and comment down below what your favorite part of my quinta was. Bye.